Will someone please tell me why I'm not in Las Vegas right now at CES 2022? All these cool devices being announced, I want to see them all in person. Vehicles, robot vacuums, security devices, TVs, all this stuff going on. I'm just jealous that I'm sitting here in Omaha, Nebraska, instead of Las Vegas. Well, today we're going to talk about a couple of the devices that are more security related, which is my gig. And uh, yeah, we're going to check them out and talk about them and how exciting it is that they're on their way. Let's get started. What up, everybody? It's George Langbeer with Silver Hammer Surveillance. Yeah, CES is going on in Las Vegas. Wish I was there. So jealous. All these cool things being announced, TVs, all this other stuff. But a couple of them caught my eye. They were security related. And here on the channel, we talk tech and we talk security. And some of these devices are both. So we're going to kind of talk about them. Uh, made by Eufy. We've got one by uh, Arlo, and then we've got another one by Belkin uh, with their Wemo line. So let's get started with Eufy. So Eufy is one of my favorite smart home brands, and at CES they announced they're, they're great for security cameras. They have several other products, robot vacuums, that kind of thing. I enjoy them for their security cameras because I'm a security guy, and that's what we're talking about today. They announced two new camera-related products. One of them involves your garage door, so they're launching a smart garage door opener so that not only has a smart garage door opener, but it also has a camera. They're building it the Garage Control Cam and the Garage Control Cam Plus. The Garage Control Cam um, is 1080p and it covers one door. The Plus goes up to 2K resolution and will control two garage doors. Um, you, so in addition to actually having the camera, again, the, the garage can be a huge blind spot as far as cameras go. Sometimes we will put a camera just designated for the garage door to, to kind of monitor whether a door is open or closed. But this kind of kills two birds with one stone. Number one in their app, it's going to tell you if your door is open or closed. You're going to be able to control it, open or closed, and you're going to see what's going on in your garage with the camera. And the garage is a very important entry point as far as thieves go. A lot of people don't lock their interior door that goes from the garage inside. That's a huge entry point for home invaders and things like that. So this is just another layer of security. Not only are you going to know your door is closed, but you're also going to be able to see it on camera. The uh, there's no so a lot of uh, UV cameras sometimes uh, require what's called a home base. This does not. These will be standalone units, and they will have local storage. So there's no fees. A lot of Wi-Fi cameras have subscription fees. This will not. So that's cool, and that's the case with a lot of UV cameras, which is great. You don't have to have a monthly cloud storage or things like that. Um, and then uh, the regular model will be $99. The plus model will be $129, so not much more to get your second door and a little better resolution. And they will be launching sometimes in March. And then in addition to that garage cam, they also announced what's called the Eufy Video Doorbell Dual, which is a great idea because what it is, it's a door, video doorbell with two cameras, one aimed at the human and one aimed at packages. So you've got a top camera and a bottom camera, hence the dual name. Um, so it's going to have motion detection and PIR, PIR uh, radar to detect humans. Not only that, they're going to have what's called family recognition. So if you go in and designate your family members, it'll know them uh, specifically. Now, a lot of uh, some other video doorbells do that already, like the Nest cameras or the uh, HomeKit video secure videos or secure video cameras. They will know your iCloud library and Google Home. You can go in there and name names. But it sounds like Eufy's catching up. And that was kind of one area where Eufy was lacking on their doorbells, but it sounds like they're about to fix that. So the top camera is 2K resolution, and it gets 160 degrees, and that's for the human being standing up there. And then the bottom one is 120 degrees, um, and it's more for packages being left or um, you know moved or whatever. And uh, you'll get those alerts both for humans and your packages being moved. And then uh, it, that one does need the home base, the home base two specifically, but it is included uh, with the doorbell, and it's $259, and it launches on February 8th. So, again, very exciting announcements from Eufy. And then uh, that leads us to our next announcement, which was from Arlo. Okay, so Arlo, another very popular brand in the security world. They make wireless security cameras, all sorts of different products. Now they're kind of moving into the security systems, uh, more like a burglar alarm type thing. But what's really cool about what Arlo announced at CES is that they've got the sensor that's very multi-purpose. So a lot of times you got to get a glass break sensor. you got to get a door opening and close sensor, window opening and close, that type of thing. Well, Arlo's uh, figured out a way to get the sensor to detect several different things in one. 
So they call it an all-in-one multi-sensor. It can be configured for a range of security purposes, capable of recognizing motion, uh, the door window openings, um, water leaks, light temperature changes, smoke CO alarm patterns. Um, but it's, so that's pretty cool. It does all that in one. So you just get one sensor and it's going to detect a lot more and get more bang for your buck. Uh, it's only 1.1 inches wide. So it's very small, um, and very compact. So you can kind of place it anywhere and it's wireless. So no hard wiring for that little bad boy. And then that's going to be controlled by a modular hub. And that's going to be kind of its central little control brain. And uh, so it's got a siren, motion and smoke, CO alarm sensor, uh, integrated backlit keypad for seamless day or night management. Uh, of course, you can control all this from the Arlo app as well. And uh, it's one of its kind to have uh, NFC technology so users can quickly arm and disarm the system with a tap of their mobile device. So you can just walk up to it with your mobile phone, kind of like Apple's new um, key feature where you can just use your phone to unlock some new smart locks, which again, one of those locks was announced at CES as well. Um, but yeah, so those are pretty cool. So this all-in-one sensor, this cool new hub with all these new features. But yeah, another cool announcement from Arlo. So I'm anxious to get my hands on that and see what it's all about. That moves us on to Belkin or Wemo. Yeah, so Belkin has announced the new video doorbell, part of the Wemo line, and it's going to be a HomeKit secure video doorbell, which there's only a couple of those out there. We've all been waiting for that lineup to be growing, and now they're adding to it, so that's great. Um, it's $250. Um, it's 4.9 inches high and 178 degree vertical field of view with a four megapixel camera. Now, when you look in HomeKit Secure Video, it automatically drops it down to 1080p. So we'll see how that works. But uh, they're saying it's four megapixel, which is more like 2K. Um, enhanced night vision with an optimal zoom. Um, and then it's IP55 for weatherproofing and works on both 2.4 and five gigahertz Wi-Fi. So just as awesome that more HomeKit Secure Video uh, doorbells are coming out there. Go back and check out our videos on HomeKit Secure Video and what that is. But basically, it's kind of making a Wemo video doorbell an Apple video doorbell. It makes it very Apple-specific. But um, so that's three of the announcements that kind of caught my eye from Wemo, Arlo, and Yuffie. Uh, all pretty exciting. I can't wait to get my hands on them and get them out to our customers and do videos on, on them for you. I did order a couple of them the, the, that are available for pre-order, so hopefully those videos are coming soon. But yeah, hopefully you just like this video on our little announcement at CES. Again, I wish I was there. Looks like maybe me and Teresa are going next year. So that'll be exciting. Oh, but yeah, smash the like button. Uh, hit the bell notification for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. We talk tech. We talk security once in a while. I tell some crazy shoplifter stories. My loss prevention days that kind of got me into all this. But until the next video, peace and love.